crossing the big elbow for forget me not straight ahead. And this is at the crossing for forget me not. Normally it is a Ford. It looks like this uh, November, early November is no Ford. As far as I want to bike here on the Wild Horse Trail, right over there, it's icy. And I walked about not even a minute from my bike. Here's the start of the Wild Horse Trail. Or of the, forget me not, from the Wild Horse Trail. About 460 or so meters from the bike, vertical, and for an hour grunting, but just solid. It's you hit this ridge, the start of there's a compression, a big long snake of the BIE. And out towards the Ari Ipan. And about 25 or so minutes from my last check in there, where it's gained the ridge, there's a little tear there. That's where you start, the trail kind of ends, and there is a good trail. So no point film that, just all there's a Romulus and, a, and the big quad and there, there's the true summit of Forget Me Not at least the old Forget Me Not finger number three, 2335 or so, by GPS at 2015. Finger number two, and I'm just gonna go up to this one overlooking Rainy number one there. And the sun lighting up a little bit here. Lighting up the distance. First finger of the knot goes over there towards another one. Let's go, etc. Big long snake. So, there it is. We can see this big cairn from down there. And heading back towards the ridge to take a break. It's just maybe too cold and windy up top there. Up there, where I came from, the first finger. 
out towards the And all of the three fingers here from Rainy Pass. That's the Here is the uh, I just did. one that's quite prominent when you get to the Rainy Pass.